people who are considering bunion surgery, it's not always how large the bunion is. I find it's more important how does the bunion affect you. We have people that have very small bunions that kills them versus other people that have very large bunions and it doesn't bother them, so they say. So usually when we determine the best time to have surgery is how does it affect them. Are they runners? Are they walkers? Are they active? And because of these bumps on the sides of the foot, they're doing less of what they want to do or love to do. At that point in time, it should be at least considered having them done because they can only get worse and as they get worse uh, the options become less and less. Usually uh, with our patients uh, we get them back to what they need to do, love to do. Approximately three weeks from the day of surgery is when they get back into their regular shoes. Typically they're only uh, non-weight bearing for one week. We initially have people start with running type shoes first and then they progressively transition back into their other shoes as tolerated. There's always a chance of bunions coming back. It just really depends upon when you have the surgery. If you're in your uh, teens, it's gonna come back. Um, ideally, the best things to do to reduce it from coming back would be our orthotics. Uh, typically, I'd say about 95% of the time, when we do bunions, we don't just take the bump off because people who just take the bump off, they tend to have bunions recur a lot uh, sooner. What we do is we have to realign the joint. By realigning the joint, that has a higher chance of not coming back. I always like to joke with my patients and tell them in another 50 years we'll redo it again. Typically, uh, we only do one foot at a time. The reason why is because I want to take care of one foot, make sure that is fully ready to go before we do the second one.